Good evening, everybody. I'm an Afghan girl from the west province of Afghanistan, near to Iran border. I know when we say about Afghanistan, the first thing that comes to your mind is always bombing, war, and conflict. But no, today I'm going to show you the other face of Afghanistan, which is the positive story of my life and other girls in Afghanistan. So I was born in Iran in 1985 from an Afghan parent. I finished my high school in Iran, and then I moved back in 2001 to Afghanistan after the collapse of Taliban regime. So I studied computer science in 2007, and I graduated from the computer science faculty in my country. After that, in 2008, I got the chance to go to Germany to do my masters in information technology. Meanwhile, that I was studying in the in Germany to do my master, I got an idea how I can help women in IT because it's a difficult technical field of study, especially for women in developing countries. So I went back to Afghanistan. I started my career as a professor in the university, and meanwhile, I established an IT company with my friend Roya Mahboub called Afghan Citadel Software Company to help women in Afghanistan to empower men. To empower them through social and digital media. So uh, there, there were a lot of problems during the projects that we had in Afghanistan. So I thought with myself that how I can try to help women in Afghanistan in more Could specific you ways. About your project so we tried to establish a non-profit organization well, called Women's States Annex to help and support women via the education and social and digital and media. What I did, I tried Stone. to go online I'm, uh, and I found people who are Twitter thought leaders in different fields like uh, education, politics, sports, sports arts. The I tried to interview uh, them like and I tried to ask their opinion um, about how they can uh, help children or women in Afghanistan. Most, um, and I try uh, to broadcast uh, them to the women in Afghanistan. So I'm here in the United States. I want to use the chance to deliver the message to women in Afghanistan. Uh, so I try to uh, do it via the social media platforms. So I try to connect them with Afghan girls who are in the schools are and they cannot be here. So they try to share their ideas the with the girls and the girls get known them. Done, so it was um, a very women informative, women informative and a big process for me to, to know all these wonderful people and be in touch with them that I sometimes I couldn't dream about that. So during the ups and downs and these journeys, I understand one thing: that women need education. So we established Women's Annex to help girls in Afghanistan. So the the idea that we had is so how empower women. I know women empowerment is a little bit a very confusing and a difficult word if I want to use it in my own country. But I learned it from my mom. She was empowered at home, so no man power in my home. So I learned it from my mom, and I try to give it to the other women who are in Afghanistan. So the combination of education plus digital media makes a huge difference. We give the girls who are in schools to come online, share their stories using social and digital media power. So it means that they can come online. They can tell you that when they are in Afghanistan, what's going on and what's their stories. So, in the other hand, it's not just about the education. We give them the opportunity to come online, share their stories, and of course, get paid. So they become more financial independence in the projects that they are doing. And one of the main reasons that we are going to support them. So, like me, that I have the chance to be here. Maybe they cannot be here, but they can go online and share their stories with people around the world, and they got to know about them and the situation of women in Afghanistan. So, as my own story, I was born in Iran. I went to Afghanistan. I was in Germany. For me, borders doesn't mean anything. For me, the wheelchair world is important because it gives me an identity. I could come online and share my stories with people. And then, yeah, communication without border. When there is no geographical boundaries, people in a second can go to different places in the world without having any problem, or nobody asks you your passport. Hopefully, so all these things together. They helped me to do this mission with my friends to build computer media labs for girls in a, at school in Afghanistan and help them to come online and share their stories. So since we started the project, we built 10 schools out of 40 schools in Afghanistan, and 50,000 students they come online and they share stories with people around the world. And of course. 
what, what I focus on that is everybody can be a thought leader, but if you give them the right tools, which is education and social media for girls in Afghanistan. We find local talent. There are thousands of students who, do, who can do everything, but unfortunately, they don't have access to the right tools. So we will find them and we will help them. So these all together help us to empower women in developing countries, especially in Afghanistan, through digital and social media and education. I would like to end up my speech with one of my favorite beloved poets who said, where there is room, there is hope for treasure for sure. Thank you. Thank you.